talk to you today about the idea of significant figures, also called significant digits. Science is different than math. In math, we deal with numbers in the abstract, we deal with numbers in theory, and we can deal with numbers that are exact. In science, when we deal with numbers, we are usually doing so based on measurements. Now, occasionally we're doing so based on a definition, which is exact, and we can treat exact numbers. But if we're doing anything based on an experiment, we had to make a measurement. And our measurements are always limited in their accuracy. You can never measure perfectly. Even if you read it correctly, you do everything that is right humanly possible, there's always a limitation in how well you can measure based on your instrument, based on the device you're measuring with. Now, I want to illustrate that by looking at an example. So here on the board, I have drawn a ruler. The ruler is greatly magnified so that you can see. I want to pretend this is a standard metric ruler, so the big numbers here are centimeters. So zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters. So the little numbers in between, since there are 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, are either a tenth of a centimeter, or you should know a tenth of a centimeter is a millimeter. So if I'm counting here, this is 0.1 centimeters, 0.2 centimeters, 0.3 centimeters, 0.4 centimeters, or you could count it as 1 millimeter, 2 millimeters, 3 millimeters, 4 millimeters, 5 millimeters. So let's say we want to make a measurement, and we're going to measure an object, this red rectangle. First, we need to make sure that the end of our object is lined up with the zero on our ruler, and then we measure out to the end. Now, I want you to notice something about this. The end of our object does not fall exactly on one of these lines. It's kind of in between. So let's think about what we know. We can tell by looking at the ruler that this object is longer than 1.2 centimeters. But it's shorter than 1.3 centimeters. We know it's somewhere in between 1.2 and 1.3. Now, halfway between 1.2 and 1.3 is 1.25. A lot of people may look at this and immediately guess that. But I want you to look at our object. Our object, while it is halfway well, it is in between 1.2 and 1.3. It's not exactly halfway. And I hope that you can see it's a little bit closer to 1.2 than it is to 1.3. So I'm going to estimate this length. And I'm going to estimate this length as 1.24 centimeters. So now I want to talk about the idea of significant digits and significant figures. When I read this, I know for sure that this is at least one centimeter long. I know this exactly. I can also tell for sure it's at least 1.2, but not 1.3. So I know it's in between 1.2 and 1.3. I know it's 1.2 something. I know this exactly. However, I am not perfectly sure this is a 4. Maybe it is halfway in between, and it should be 1.25. Maybe it's not quite as far as I thought, and it should be 1.23. But this last digit that we measured is an estimate. Anytime you make a measurement, you should always have one estimated digit. Now, that number is significant. It's telling us something about the measurement. You could not come read this measurement and tell me that it is 1.24023588. Okay? Your ruler is not that good. There's no way that you can read this. You made all that up. If you can read it to the tenths place exactly, then you can estimate one place beyond the tenths place. You can estimate to the hundreds place. So here we can read the whole numbers exactly. We can read the tenths place exactly, so we can estimate to the hundreds place. We always want to have one estimated digit. 